Hello everyone, this is the video about how to compute switching losses in 3 phase 3 level inverter using this Simscape power systems and uh, Simscape blocks here. Here uh, this example also uh, shows how to compute switching losses in a 3 phase 3 level inverter combining with uh, spe specialized power systems and uh, Simscape blocks here. Uh, here this is some um, description about this uh, uh, modeling components. The first one is uh, the plus or minus 1800 volts DC source that is a 400 kilowatts 3 phase 3 level inverters delivers variable power to a distribution power system here. The inverter output is connected to uh, 25 kilovolt uh, 40 MVA 58 systems through a uh, 2200 volt to 25 kVA uh, transformer here. And then next the control system ca contains uh, two PI controllers. This is one, one is for one PQ regulator and another one is uh, current regulator. Uh, it is used to regulate or uh, generate the uh, required inverter pulses to achieve the response output power here. Then this is the th thermal network. The Simscape blocks from the thermal foundation library are used to uh, build a two cell uh, caller network that is uh, based on thermal capacitance that is a case and heat sink and also in, uh, and resistance this is a case, ten, uh, case to sink and sink to ambient uh, is a resistance here calculated here the last uh, calculations are based on the spe specification found on the, found on the manufacturer's uh, data sheet only here uh, there are uh, three level like that is a phase a uh, that is a off, off bridge igbt uh, last model model one and the next one is a uh, uh, model three and model two here uh, this model is um, implements and, and also is modeled by uh, two IGBT by diode blocks. The upper and lower IGBT diode blocks are pulsed from an external pulse generator. Here, these are the parameters we have to give here. These are uh, load side and and also IGBT and uh, IGBT and diode. The IGBT losses and diode losses are computed uh, in this uh, example. Here, these are the specialized uh, scopes are there. Then, this is a 500 kVA transformer. This is a sco scope. And, uh, and, uh, and all things uh, the, the next one and uh, now we are discuss about this off bridge IGPT loss calculation uh, block uh, this off bridge uh, model is blocked modeled by two IGPT diodes blocks and uh, this upper and lower IGPT blocks are uh, uh, um, taken from uh, external pulse generator and uh, IGPT losses are uh, computed uh, with this uh, two types of losses three types of losses that is a uh, turn on losses and turn off loss and conduction loss what is turn on and turn off and the conduction loss especially for uh, IGPT losses IGPT losses here um, turn on loss is nothing but uh, pre switching value of uh, voltage across the device and post switching value of current flowing into the device and uh, the junction tem uh, temperature are uh, used to find the turn on loss here then this turn off loss uh, it's nothing but uh, pre-switching value of current flowing into the device and post-switching value of uh, voltage across the device and the junction temperature are used to find the turn off uh, loss here. It is also turn on loss used to uh, uh, find the with the help of 3D lookup table and turn off loss also used to uh, find this uh, help of uh, 3D lookup table here. And the next one uh, conduction loss. Uh, to, 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 uh, to determine the conduction loss by using this 2D lookup table also there. Then how to find this uh, losses in diodes. This the thermal losses are in diode. Here uh, there are uh, two types of losses are we are calculated. Uh, first one is a reverse recovery loss and second one is conduction loss. There, uh, what is a reverse recovery, uh, recovery loss means pre switching value of current flowing into the device and post switching value of voltage across the device and junction temperature are used to determine the energy losses with the help of 3D lookup table here. Then the conduction loss a value of current IF, IF flowing in the device and its junction temperature uh, determines what would be the uh, on stage voltage that is a uh, forward voltage VF across the diode and also using uh, 2D lookup table this forward voltage this is on stage voltage VF is then multiplied by forward current IF to determine the losses of uh, this conduction loss uh, losses which are injected to the thermal network is calculated as a uh, conduction losses now you can use the simulation after um, run the simulation uh, you will get the you will get the simulation output various scopes from the various scopes and also observe the operating points here then uh, this scope scope block used to 
find out uh, find out uh, inverter output and uh, total losses in the inverter and output power inverter and junction capacitor it's a maximum t- junction capacitance value is uh, 125 that is average junction temperature in um, igpt module this is highest uh, function temperature is 125 here uh, then um, for example uh, we are seeing here these are uh, inverter output that is it, it shows a uh, uh, switching frequency and losses in terms of kilowatts and uh, output power in terms of kilowatts and uh, junction temperature that is in the igpt module 1 okay then next one uh, this is the bus at uh, bus b1 what is the output it shows here and the next one is a temperature junction temperature is a junction the maximum time tem- junction temperature is 125 best now that we are calculated here then um, to find out the losses uh, from uh, time value 0 second to 5 second the inverter output is uh, 372 um, kilowatts that is in power it has power factor is uh, 0.85 also we can calculate uh, in this um, uh, instant uh, scope here total losses 2.70 and 372.37 uh, is output power inverter and junction capacitor and we can observe uh, the reading uh, for example um, the simulation period uh, 5 second to 12 second and the inverter output is uh, 210 kilowatts it's, uh, it has a power factor as uh, 0.85 using a switching frequency of uh, 1850 uh, hertz we can uh, able to understand with this uh, with this scope here uh, normally the, uh, the the starting simulation 0 to 5 second the inverter output is 372 um, kilowatts and uh, and the um, in this period the switching frequency is 850 hertz then the converter total losses 2.7 kilowatts here the uh, 2.7 kilowatts here then after um, uh, it reaches 5 second to 12 seconds the inverter output is 210 kilowatts 210 kilowatts having power factor is 0.85 here also the switching frequency it's um, uh, almost doubled that is a 1850 hertz previous one is a starting simulation using a switching frequency the inverter gives the outputs of 372 kilowatts here by using this uh, switching frequency of 1850 hertz the inverter output is 210 kilowatts uh, with the power factor 0.85 the junction capacitor uh, the junction capacitance is highest uh, uh, function in temperature 125 you can see the uh, power switching losses here here also you can uh, measure the inverter control also you can see after uh, here almost uh, the value uh, 8 seconds is uh, showing here in this plot it shows the uh, a bus there is a current current uh, total harmonic distortion D- dhd values it's a one more uh, important um, graph to find out the total harmonic distortion here itself you can see after f- finish the s- simulation that is a uh, we are set to 12 seconds we are uh, s- set for uh, stop time so that we can able to c- um, uh, f- find out the switching losses of this igpt and the diode uh, diode losses this also this heat sink uh, heat sink uh, thermal model it's derived from two cell uh, uh, cover network based on this thermal capacitance here uh, the mean time you can see the peak finder here also you can see the peak finder value also you may mention the uh, total harmonic distortion here also you can fi- find out this uh, peak value uh, by using this zoom tool we can uh, check this one okay now we can see the uh, see the clear view of uh, total harmonic distortion here by using this uh, zoom x tool you can easily find out the values find out the values of this one this bus one big finder total harmonic distortion it shows uh, it, it also has the values uh, at uh, x and y uh, y values and these are uh, we can also view this legend value now, now the almost 12 seconds simulation is over based on this example we can calculate uh, calculate the uh, last calculation in a three phase three level inverter 
here uh, this type of modeling also used to, used to, to compute switching losses uh, with the combining of uh, specialized power systems and uh, simscape blocks here thanks for watching these you are you are watching first time in my ch youtube channel kindly subscribe my channel support my support my channel and also uh, like share and comments on my videos thank you thank you for watching thank you so much